You might remember um, a few days ago, maybe last week, I'm not sure, I added this to this little book and um, I made you a video of that. Well, I was looking at it and I love it, I do love it, but as I'm turning the pages with the best will in the world, this is getting not dog eared, but it's hard to protect it. But I don't really want it properly flattened down. Um, so I'm thinking of putting just a bead on it in one position, just to keep it in position um, a bit better. So also, you might notice to the left of that, I can't point it out because I'm fiddling here trying to open my bag of beads. Um, here. I've added another bit of fabric. Now this is fabric I made myself. Um, and it's strips of vintage broderie on glaze with lace and metallic silk and stuff. So I've now stitched that onto the handle of the fly swat. Now why have I done that? Well basically because this is a fly swat which to me isn't really an appealing object. Um, so I wanted to make it more appealing and what better way to make it more appealing than to hang beautiful fabric from it. So if you've got a fly swat in your house, don't swat flies with it. Just use it to drape fabric over. That's what would happen if it was here. Everything gets fabric draped over it, intentionally or otherwise. Um, so that's simple, that's just one little bead there in the corner, which will just help it stop flicking up properly. And um, you might think, well, what was the point? Well, the point is what I've just said. Just to make sure it doesn't completely flick up and it's kind of a little bit of protection. So what I thought I'd do while I was here, while I've got your undivided attention, I'm going to put beads on the bottom of this. Now I'd quite like to hang beads from the bottom of this, but having said that, that won't secure it to the page, will it? So what I'll do is I'll try and secure it to the page and add beads at the same time that I hang in. So let me see. So if I do that and then go over again. Well, yeah, that'll work. And then come back up again. I mean, I don't even have to do them all the way along the bottom because that's actually secure now just with that one stitch. And then if I do that, and go down there. But don't pull it right, right the way through. Wait. Yeah, so that works, doesn't it? I might do another one, I like it. It's just like hanging on the loop there, but I don't mind that, I like it. So it's like titivating a fly swat. What's not to love about doing that? What's not to love about doing that? Um, get another one and maybe have this one a bit longer now. I don't want it too long. Maybe there. Quiet, isn't it? Let's see. Have I pulled off too tight? No, but it's not longer. But never mind, we'll try and do the next one longer. What's happened there is when I've been tying it at the back, I've pulled the thread. We'll do another one and we'll try and keep it long. 
I do like it. Very simple. Simple, simple. I know I've moved the book out of the way, I'll get it back in a minute. So I keep it really long to compensate for pulling when I'm tired. Don't want it that long, so I thought I I know I've just pulled it a lot then by accident. Uh, it's still long ago. Oh yeah, I like that. So that's you know a really quick exercise to titivate a little book. Shouldn't really be doing this. This is uh but then I suppose my stitching a story girl is not all about this kind of thing. Now for some reason I don't know, I was gonna say I pulled it tight again, but there. Uh, so we've got three lovely beads there and one on the corner there so that kind of like links it all together doesn't it so there i just thought i'd share that with you today um i need to fasten this off it's a bit of a dog's dinner at the back actually this just thread it through a couple of times there's so many knots that are loose no so it's pulling it through just ignore this what's happening here because this isn't the professional way to do anything. So don't be fooled. Right, hopefully that is secure. And they're all, yeah, there. So I've done that now. So, and on the back, actually, that doesn't look bad at all. It's just got stitch marks, which how can you not like stitch marks, to be honest. So there are three dangly beads and one little tiny securing bead over here. Yeah, 